Say what's good, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy Chubbs, Mo, Mo Life, all that. You know what I'm saying? You know, it just, a lot of things been going on lately. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in the world, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are so caught up behind this um, coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? That they're really missing, you know, what's really going on in the world. Yeah, we have this, you know, some pe parts in the world may have this, you know, outbreak or whatever they may call it or this, uh, at what they call it, a pandemic or whatever, you know, this thing happening in their city or in their state, you know what I'm saying? And the media and uh, the media is putting it out to bring fear amongst the people. Y'all don't hear me. The media is putting it out to bring fear amongst the people. I'm not saying that the coronavirus isn't real. I'm not saying that it isn't something that uh, we should be mindful of because we really should. You know, it is something that it is a deadly virus. It's taking out people left and right. You know what I'm saying? And in certain states in the world, people are underneath quarantine because of that. But you do need to be mindful of what actually the coronavirus is, how many people it's affected, how many people are getting or recovering from it, how many people are actually, you know, they may get infected or whatever, but they're getting, they're healed as well. They're coming out of it in two or three days. They're coming out of it in a week's time. They're coming out of it, you know, in eight to nine, 10 days, they're coming out of it. But the media don't want to tell you that. The media don't want to tell you that it's a cure out there. The media don't want to tell you that uh, everything's going to be okay, that this is just a temporary thing. The media don't want to tell you that the cure of all of this is Jesus Christ. Y'all don't want to talk to me. You know what I'm saying? The people don't want to tell you the cure out here is not fear. The cure, the cure out here is not going to the grocery store, stacking up on, the, on all this toilet paper, on all the tissue, on all these foods, on all of this and all of that. What's so scary out here? Let me tell you how messed up this world is out here. Let me tell you how messed up our minds is right now. How the media got to our minds. We're so we're rushing over to the stores to get uh, toilet paper to stock up on all this food, to stock up on all these things, hand sanitizer. You need to be clean anyway. Hand sanitizer. Yeah, hand sanitizer going to be clean. No, baby, you need to wash your hands. You need to use soap and water. You know what I'm saying? You need to take showers every day. We need to be more clean as a human being. We need to be more clean as mankind. Another thing, I'm going to keep on going. Those things in the supermarkets, those things out in the stores, those things wherever you may go to get those things, those things are not going to heal you. Those things are not going to heal you. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that's going to heal you during this time, the only thing that's going to deliver you during this time, the only thing that's going to keep you covered during this time is Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. This is the time that instead of being so fearful of the viral, the virus is going to kill us, this, this, and that. We're not going to have food. We're not going to have this. We're not going to have that. We need to start putting our focus on what God is doing, and we need to fear God. Y'all have made this thing come in your life and take over you. Some people who wasn't even sick before they had coronavirus are now getting sick. This is because you have gave this thing life, and this this is because you're not standing up against it and pleading the blood of Jesus over your family. This is because we have let so many things of this world influence us. Now it's starting to take over. Y'all don't want to talk to me this morning. You hear me? Y'all have let this thing come over and take over your life, take over your jobs, take over your situation, take over your schools, take over your churches, take over your life. What are we doing? I want to say this. What are we doing? Why are we giving this thing so much energy and so much control ever over our lives? But yet, we let something that they say is this deadly control our lives, but the person who can give us life is Jesus Christ and we don't give him no energy. Y'all don't want to talk to me. We don't give him no energy. We don't give God no effort. 
but he's the author and the finisher of life. He's the one who can heal you. He's the one who can deliver you from all the things that you are going through with, whether that's addiction, whether that's um you're going through a situation on your job, whether that's your finance, or whether you're dealing with depression, stress, anxiety, whether you're dealing with sickness, whether you're dealing with coronavirus, whatever it may be. God can restore you and he can work it all out. But we don't want to give him no credit. We want to give it to the coronavirus. We want to give it to the government. God is not pleased with the world right now. That's why these things are happening. We have locusts taking over Africa. We had the wildfires going on at the end of last year where rain clearly could have happened, but it never came. But it finally did because God said, okay, now it's my time to come and start to heal things. But my people got wicked again. My people got evil again. My people drew away from me again. My people started turning their backs on me again when they needed me most. So God had to wake, wake and shake the people up again. This is a time that we need to change the things that we are doing. This is a time that we need to turn from our evil and wicked ways and fall on our face before God and call that to God and tell him, look, I need you in my life again. We need to repent for our evil sins. We need to repent for our filthiness. We need to repent for letting all these things come into our life that wasn't supposed to be there in the first place and give our lives back to God. We need to give our lives back to God during this season. And I want to tell you, I promise you, the prayer warriors who are out here praying every day for our country, who's out here praying worldwide, wherever you may be, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you because those are the people who God is going to hear from. You can be that individual as well. You want God to come and heal your household. You want God to deliver your son from addiction. You want your God to um, change the way that your brother or sister is thinking or change, you know, the divorce or the anger in your marriage that you're going through. You want God to come. You want, you want things to come and change in your life, but you're not giving no effort to change. God is right here with his arms open wide. God is right here ready to receive you, but you don't want to do it because change is not what you want in your life. You have kind of complacent with, with the things going wrong in your life. You got complacent with, oh, it is what it is. No, it's not. It is what it is. You can change things. Life and death lays between the power of the tongue. So if you speak it, it will be so. So, man, I just want to you know, leave that right there. You know what I'm saying? I pray that y'all be blessed by this video. Like, share, comment. This is another video for the Talk That Talk series. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you go check out my first video as well. That's right above. Make sure you go check that thing out, man. And like I said, y'all, let's get our minds right. You know what I'm saying? Let's get our hearts right. Let's, let's focus up. You know what I'm saying? Let's get our grind back right. Real talk, for not for we can shine, but for he can shine. And for things in life can start adding up to the way they're supposed to be again. We need to stop being fearful of this world. We need to stop being fearful of things that God is clearly in control of and actually trust in God and know that he is the one who covers us. So therefore, if somebody is sitting right next to you that is affected with the coronavirus or infected with anything that is unclean of God, that you won't be touched by it because God has you covered. That's from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. That's from the inside out. Not to say from the outside in. I said from the inside out because God lives in every single one of us. All, all he wants us to do is wake up. All he wants us to do is wake up and know that he is God. So I just want to leave that on there again, man. Like I said, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. And you already know what it is, man. It's time to gear up. It's time to man up. It's time to stand up. It's time to be bold out here. And it's time to speak life into the people. And I come against, I come against any death that the, that in, that the enemy wants to happen. I come and get it with all the power that's invested in me. And that's in Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus' name. 
I cast it back down and I rebuke it back down to the pit of hell right now in the name of Jesus. Because it will not be so. This too shall pass. And when it passed, God will get the glory for it. All right, I'm at, man. Yeah.